How would you like to visit a ski resort with small crowds, short lines, aspen glades galore, and to top it all off, free cookies at the end of the day? If this sounds like you, Beaver Creek may be the perfect resort for your winter vacation getaway. Plus, where else can you take an escalator to get to and from the slopes? So Beaver Creek, Colorado is located in Eagle Creek, which is about two hours from the Denver airport, or if you fly into the Eagle County airport, it's about 30 minutes. Beaver Creek features 2,082 skiable acres as of 2022 with the addition of the McCoy Park area, and it's a good blend of terrain for all skill levels, including beginner and intermediate gladed areas, which is something not a lot of resorts seem to offer, and I think it makes it perfect for getting into the tree runs, that way you can take that first initial step. I think Beaver Creek would be a perfect resort for families looking for that perfect winter vacation getaway, the low crowds, tons of introductory terrain, as well as a quaint little village, and just where it's a little bit quieter, it seems like a more family-friendly atmosphere versus some of the more party-oriented places you can sometimes wind up in. I think it's a really, really great place and definitely somewhere I plan to take my son once he gets to the age that he's ready to start snowboarding. Now while we were there, we did ride over the entire mountain. But McCoy Park seemed to be the area that we spent the most of our time. It was our favorite area. It was again new for 2022 and it features 250 acres of gladed tree runs and it is more targeted at beginner and intermediate riders. However, if you know where to look and you spend some time searching, you can find some really, really fun lines through the trees as well as some fresh powder lines were easy to find throughout there. Every time we did it, we were able to find new and different varied paths to kind of snake our way down and get to the bottom of the lift. Another really great thing about this area was in the morning, it would be a little bit of a crowd, but by an hour or so into the day, there was hardly anybody there. And we pretty much skied straight on to the lift every single time with no weight. And just while I'm talking about lifts, one of the really great thing about Beaver Creek is that almost all of the chairlifts are high speed lifts, which makes getting across and you know all over the mountain really, really easy. I don't think we ever waited more, even at the worst times, more than like five minutes for a chairlift. The lines were always short and there's enough terrain that it never felt crowded at all, except for maybe in the Red Buffalo Park area, which is more of a beginner targeted area. I'd say that was where the heaviest crowd was, but as far as the rest of the mountain, it we rarely waited for a chair, it was awesome. All of the staff was extremely helpful and there was really great signage. Navigating our way throughout the mountain was really, really easy. Anytime we were looking at a map or had any sort of questions, the staff were immediately up on us to help us and you know, kind of point us in the right direction, which I thought was really great. If I had to pick one downside of Beaver Creek, it would be that there's not really any bowls or high alpine terrain like the rest of the Colorado resorts, but I do think the low crowds and the ability to be able to go and find fresh lines in the trees pretty much every day, that makes up for that one little area where they sort of lack. And it, you know, wasn't something that we really noticed while we were there, it was sort of after the fact. We were like, oh, it would have been nice if it had this. One other thing that's really great and unique about Beaver Creek is at the end of the day when you're tired, you're hungry, you're all skied or snowboarded out, at 3 p.m. down in the village, Beaver Creek has what's called cookie time. And at cookie time, they are pumping chocolate chip cookies out like you've never seen before. Chefs galore just come walking out with these giant silver platters full of chocolate chip cookies and the whole village fills up with the aroma of cookies. And I don't know if it was where I was just really hungry and tired, but I never missed one of those cookies and they were the best chocolate chip cookies I believe I've ever had. My wife is not really a big chocolate chip cookie person and even she actually liked those cookies. It's the first time in our whole 10 years of being together that I have ever seen her eat a chocolate chip cookie. And while I'm on the subject of being down in the village, we really loved the village at the bottom. It's a relatively good size. My wife, as well as my friend Daniel's wife, were able to spend about two days there walking around and checking out all the shops, eating at different restaurants, having snacks and stuff. And it's a really just, it's a good sized village, but it feels very quaint at the same time. It's not like massive or over the top. So I re we really, really enjoyed the village and all of the shops there. If I had to rank Beaver Creek on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, I would give it a 8.75 and currently on this list as you can see here I'm going to put it as my second favorite resort that we have ever been to. Definitely make sure you follow along as I do these different resort reviews and you're going to see this list periodically get you know updated as we go to different and new places but I would definitely give it my second favorite resort as of now that we've been able to go to. I do think as well if they had that high alpine terrain I would definitely put it you know, right on par with being my favorite. And I'd really want to go back on a powder day to be able to experience it. And that definitely, you know, could fluctuate the score a little bit as well. We didn't really get a powder day, but like I said, in McCoy Park, we were able to find some fresh lines. 
Overall, Beaver Creek is definitely a resort that we do plan to go back to in the future. And like I said, if you want to follow along, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you can see how this resort continues to stack up to some of the other resorts that we've visited or the ones that we're going to in the future. If you are looking at Beaver Creek, make sure to check out these videos as well as I have a Beaver Creek playlist which I will link on this video and down in the description below. Also, all of my gear, everything I use to film, all my snowboards, jackets, pants, all that good stuff is all going to be linked down in the description below as well. If you did find this helpful, please make sure you smash that like button. It's going to really help me out, show some support for the channel. I do want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you do have any questions about Beaver Creek or any of the resorts in Colorado, hit me up in the comments down below and I'm going to do my best to, to help you out. I've been to a lot of the resorts, especially the big ones, and we do plan on, it's sort of my mini goal to go to all of the resorts in Colorado, so definitely stay tuned for that. We are going to Utah this winter, so if you're looking at going to Utah, I'm going to have a lot of Utah content coming out in January, February as well as we've got a lot of other great stuff planned for this winter. Hope you guys are getting some snow soon, and uh, hope to see you out there.